Hi there, YouTube friends. This is Shozy G, and I've been asked about my name, how to pronounce it. My name is actually Shoshana, and I go by Show, but my one of my nicknames is Shozy, and it's just like Show and Z. <laughs> Shozy. <laughs> so I just wanted you to know that. Um, that makes it easier for you because Shoshana is kind of a mouthful. But you can hopefully pronounce my name a little easier now. It's just Shozy, like a picture show, and the letter Z. Shozy. Shozy G. Okay, <laughs> so now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> anyway, um, this I've been asked that several times um, because I say it kind of fast and it looks like Shoshi. Sh um, it looks like all kinds of things and it, it's kind of confusing, I guess, for people. I grew up with it, so it's not confusing for me, of course, but anyway. <laughs> um, so, it, it's actually, my name is, it's... Um, in it means um, wild rose in Cherokee supposedly and rose in Hebrew it's in four of the Psalms and the, it's in the Bible four of the Psalms and it means procession of the lilies in the new translation of the Psalms in the old translation of the Bible it means um, Shoshanim so that's the background of it and Jaja is a variation of my name, so is Susan. So that's why I went with Jaja's name. Okay, besides, who doesn't like Jaja Gabor, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Petal, and I'm going to do a, a changing for her for Fashion Friday. I know the light is a little bit dim, but here she is. And I put her in a cloth diaper because I had some cloth diapers, and they're kind of small. And I had these new little pins. Aren't they cute? I bought these vintage pins, and yes, I opened them <laughs> because I wanted to use them. That was my intention. They're little pink ducks, and they're really hard to get a hold of. I have little turtles, too, and I think... I think Cornelius has those on now, but I had to buy um, special um, preemie clothes, and I did find them at um, Target. Uh, no, sorry, Walmart. I found them at Walmart. So I found this outfit um, at Walmart. I'll show you some other things I found, but this is a whole complete outfit. It was child of mine. It came on this little hanger, three pieces. Here was the onesie. Here was a little, like, top. Isn't that cute? It's bees. And then here's the and there's the bottom, the back of the pants. They're so cute. They're little pants. And then I found these at Kohl's, the little socks. They look like little shoes. I found those at because Petals' feet are about the same size as at <laughs> those cute feet, Jaja's. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and dress her, but I'm gonna keep her little. Um, pink bow in just because I have it tied in the back and I'm not going to change her bow. So hold on while I change her real quick and I'll get her other onesies out to show you. Okay, because I don't have very many clothes for Petal. She's so tiny. It's really hard to find clothes for her. Okay, hold on. Okay, here's Petal all dressed. She looks adorable. But you know what? These are so tight. If you wash them, these clothes, they would probably shrink. Wow. They could probably fit like an 18-inch doll, I'll tell you. Um, like one of my American girls or something like that. Um, gee whiz. And then I put, you know, that big diaper on her. And wow. It just really made her super tight right there. But they were tight to begin with. I mean, good grief. Look at this. That's okay, but... They were hard to get on, especially this little top. The onesie was fine, but just the rest of it over the onesie. But you need, like, the onesie because to protect their little bodies, you know? Plus, it looks cute with the little bow on the top of it peeking out. And I wanted to put the socks on her, but her feet are so cute. I love her little feet. I don't even want to cover those feet up. See, there it is with the sock, and there it is without the sock. And she looks so cute just laying there with her bunny next to her. Um, I wanted to show you. She, I can move her with one hand. Look at this. 
<laughs> oh, she's so cute. Make sure her head is turned. There we go. Okay, so she can breathe. Um, but look at her bum. <laughs> the little, the little bee on her bum. Isn't that cute? And again, a lot of that, this bum, is that big old cloth diaper. But I like the cloth diaper because her preemie diaper was uh, pretty worn. I don't think I changed her diaper because I think I only had the one preemie diaper since she got here. And she's been here, you know, for quite a while. So, because, like I said, I only had the one preemie diaper for her. She didn't come with anything extra. She came in a box with paper and her onesie, her pacifier, her hair thingy, and her, um, her diaper. That was it, folks. <laughs> she, there's no frills. You know, she doesn't even smell like a baby. So that's one thing I'm kind of bummed about. That the three babies I got from from uh, Cindy don't smell like babies. Um, I'm working on that. I'm going to get some of that smelly perfume um, so that they, they can smell like babies. But anyway, they look like them. That's for sure. They just don't smell like them. So that's why I want to put the cloth diaper on it and on her. They won't... <sighs> It'll just last longer, and I won't have to change her very often. Because I don't like to handle them, like, you know, that much. Especially if these clothes are going to be so darn tight. I mean, look, it's pulling across her like that. Gosh, I don't like that. Because then she can't really move. I can't really move her. But look, I can pick her up with one hand. This is ridiculous. And I have to do that because, and I normally I wouldn't, I'd support her head and everything, like a normal baby. But... Um, I just want to show you her front and her back and everything, and she's so small. So, please don't think I'm being hard with my babies, because normally I don't treat them like that. But, I mean, you can't even move her little legs. Part of it's that diaper. It is pretty thick right in between the legs right here. But part of it's just the pants. They're tight. So, anyway. Okay, but the outfit's really cute. I mean, I know now that the onesies are fine not to buy her preemie outfits. Good grief. Ugh. This preemie business is ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta find something that fits her that's not... Not preemie, I guess. Not this. It'll have to be a little bit larger preemie, I guess. Okay, she's so tiny, but I guess she's not that tiny. I always thought she was pretty small. But I guess if her body was completely plastic or something, those would fit on perfectly. <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for joining me. I'll try um, what um, Always Baby Love suggested. I think there's a site called... Uh, perfectlypreemie.com or something like that because they come in different sizes on their preemies and I'll see if I can find some that will fit pedal a little bit better. I just don't like to spend a whole lot of money and I like to grab something quickly because um, I dress the boys in something cute and I'll show you their stuff uh, next week and then Jaja got something really cute too and I like to get clearance items. Um, this was I had to pay full price for. I think it was 8 98 or something like that. So that was a good deal for three pieces. And then the socks were like 550 or something like that for two pairs, but then I had a clearance 20% off. So um, that was at Kohl's. So I got them se separate. Okay. All right. Well, hmm. it's my dilemma. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>